Because future-looking statements are inherently subject to risk and uncertainty, our reminder is that you should make any purchasing decisions or investment decisions based on products that are currently commercially available. Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Analytics Developer Experience. I'm Jeanine Zanoli, aka GG, Developer Advocate and Product Manager for the new Tableau Viz Lighting Web Component. We are really excited to be here with you today, and I'm here today with my co-presenter, Skip. Hi, thanks, Gigi. My name is Skip Sauls. I work on the Einstein Analytics product team, and I'm responsible for a lot of our developer tooling and some of our partner technologies. And today we're going to show you a few very cool new things that are geared at developers. Uh, we're going to show you the VS Code extension for Einstein Analytics. We're going to show you a very cool new Lightning Web component for Tableau. And we're going to show you how you can use some of the Einstein technologies directly inside of your Tableau dashboards. When you're using Einstein Analytics, you're typically going to create an app, such as the ones we see here. And each of these apps comes from a template. The template allows you to customize the app for your org. Now, why would you need to do this? Well, let's pick one and see an example. If we open up this and we click continue, it's going to present us with a question. Which object do you want to analyze? Well, why is that important? Well, it's because everybody has customizations to their Salesforce work. The platform is really awesome at allowing you to create custom objects, custom fields, all different sorts of things that make the org yours. But it means that an app that works on one may have to be changed somewhat to make it work on another. So this gives us a chance to figure out what the shape of the org is and create it accordingly. Well, you can create these typically from an app that you've created in Studio. You create your dashboards, your data sets, and so forth. But what if you want to work from a repo? You want to work from your local file system or from GitHub or somewhere? Well, let's check out Visual Studio Code and see the tools we have there. So here we are in Visual Studio Code, and we've installed the Salesforce Analytics Extension Pack. And this works with the CLI extensions to bring the Salesforce DX commands into the IDE. Well, a really cool feature of this is we can see that there is some analytics commands such as create a sample analytics template. I'm going to give it a name such as my cool demo. And let it put in the default directory. And this is going to lay down all of the pieces I need for a very simple application, just with a dashboard and so forth. And it opens up the template info.json and also lets me browse things like my dashboards. And this is a simple dashboard where we're going to change the text being displayed so we can see that it's making those changes for us. And we'll put in here trailhead x2020 and save that. And then you just go to the app here and you do your typical deploy source to org. This will deploy it and make it available to us on the Salesforce org. Okay, and now I'm going to bring up my palette again and I'm going to create an app from a template. So we've got the template up there now. Let's create an instance of the app and we're going to pick the one we just created here. My cool demo. And we're going to call this my cool app like so and this will create it on the org directly as if we had just created it from that wizard we saw earlier now what we can do is actually open this in studio like so and this is going to flip over to the browser and open the app in place and let me work with it okay let's pick the my cool app and when we open this it's going to open up the browser to that app so we can start working with it and we'll see here my dashboard called my cool demo dashboard and I can open that and we see that it says trailhead DX 2020 now typically you would start editing this and you would add your additional widgets you would add additional data sets and do all the great things you can do with the visual tools and then you can pull those back into the template for further distribution Let's take a look at one of the new components being announced at Trailhead DX 2020, which allows you to embed your Tableau Viz inside of Salesforce. This is actually the GitHub repo. It has all the instructions for cloning it, downloading it, and using it in your scratch orgs, dev orgs, etc. 
Now, this will let you take a dashboard such as we see here in the form of this, this viz or visualization and use it inside of Salesforce very easily. For example, we have this Tableau visualization component here. And when we click on it, we see all the properties here that we can set. These are the URLs, uh, options for disabling and enabling things, setting the height, filters, and so forth. And then if we save this and then go back, this will now appear on our record page, in this case, an opportunity page. And you can actually make it interact with the page using things like the ID of the uh, uh, record being shown. Now, if you're a developer, you may say, well, how can I go a little deeper with this? How can I do some more with it? How can I, you know, respond to the events and work with it? How can I embed it programmatically? Well, you can use this, uh, as in this example here, to browse views and show them. So we're actually dynamically bringing in this viz component to show it based upon the list over here. And this is a pure Lightning application. Uh, this uses the REST APIs from Tableau. It uses the lists from Lightning. Uh, these are all Lightning components for browsing the JSON, browsing the uh, details in kind of a tree view. And then this new viz component, which is very cool. So you can actually look at it uh, in a purely visual fashion. Now, We've taken this for this sample, and we've actually enhanced it a bit to show what we're working on for the roadmap, which is how to make these really interactive. And the goal is to let you embed your components within each other and embed some of these components actually inside an analytics dashboard. But for now, let's make these two talk to each other. That is to say, an analytics dashboard and a Tableau dashboard. And when we look at this, we see this dashboard inside of Einstein Analytics based upon the same core data set as the Tableau dashboard. In fact, it looks very similar, has some different graphs and visualizations, but it's the same core data. And in this Lightning app over here, we have them side by side. This is the standard Einstein Analytics component, and this is the new Tableau Viz component. And they're each showing these corresponding dashboards, and they're listening to each other. They can use events and component methods to talk. So for example, if I click on California here, it sends a lightning event over and the Tableau dashboard will respond in kind. We can also go over here and we can select a different state like Oregon and it gets selected like so. So you see the two are talking and are very dynamic. And we'll go back out here and I want to show you that even the controls are set up to, get to work together. So the profit ratio here, you see the values, and we see them reflected here as well. I'm going to move this, and you'll see it filters the map, and it does the same thing on the Tableau side. So the two are in sync here. They're just talking via these events. And this is just a preview. This is part of our roadmap of things we're working on. But you can expect more and better interactions as we go forward with this. Tableau and Einstein have a set of APIs that enable developers to do more with the data. Members of our community have built some integration using both. Today, we want to introduce you to the beta of Einstein scenarios for Tableau. A Tableau extension built by John Eagley, a sales engineer at Tableau. This is a Tableau extension that allows you to quickly and easily add scenarios analysis powered by Einstein to your Tableau dashboard. This type of scenarios analysis can be useful when you want to understand what could happen next. This extension uses the Tableau dashboard extension API that allows you to extend the capability of the dashboard. On the Einstein side, this extension uses the Einstein Predictive Service Scoring API. Here is a Tableau dashboard that shows attrition, impact, and risk. This fictive company is hiring. They want to retain existing employees. Can we get any insight that will help them? Can we run some prediction to help them better retain people who are at risk of living? In this dashboard, I can open a pop-up window where I can see a set of controls. In the same window, I can see a prediction coming from Einstein. It is using the data in our dashboards. Let's change the parameter to edit the prediction. I'm going to decrease the tenure to three years. We notice straight away that the likelihood to leave jumps to 94%. But why? This extension provides an explanation with a breakdown of the top contributor 
to the predictions coming directly from Einstein. Almost 50% of the prediction is driven by the tenure. The fact that one person has a tenure between 0.5 and 3.3 years. Similarly, if we look at the employees with a tenure of 4.5 years, we will see that the prediction has improved indeed, down to 25% risk. Now, of course, I have more questions that I want to go and dig into. We don't have time for that here. Let me show you how does it work so you can add the power of Einstein to your Tableau dashboard. Here is the same Tableau dashboard before adding the Tableau extension. We just drag and drop the extension from the panel. I already downloaded the extension before, so I'm just going to look for my TRX file. Now you understand why I have TRXs in my back here. But a TRX file is actually a lightweight file that tells Tableau how to load an extension from the internet. You can download them from the Tableau extension gallery, but here in, that, in this case, my colleagues already sent me the TRX file. So I'm just going to select it. I sign in to my Salesforce org, of course, where I already built a story in Einstein and deployed a model. Once I sign in, let's select the model and select the parameter to map to Tableau parameters. I built already the Tableau parameter before, so I just need to map them. That's it. That's the setup required to use this extension, but extend Tableau Analytics capability by using Einstein predictive capability. So now you have seen all the cool things we have been working on and what's coming next, what's the roadmap. So we are going to release the new Tableau Lightning Web Component on App Exchange in the next weeks. And we are also working on a new way to embed Tableau dashboards inside Instant Analytics dashboards. I hope you are all excited, but now what to do next, Skip? Thanks, Gigi. Well, we've got a couple of really great offerings for you in the call-out section. You've got some links there to the Tableau Developer Program and to the Einstein Analytics Developer Center. And these are both the first place you should go to look for additional resources for samples, for training, for docs. And we'd encourage you all to check those out and look at some of the cool stuff we've been showing you today. And as Gigi mentioned, some of the great things coming in the near future. Thank you all for joining and listening to us. I hope we will see you soon in the live or on any of our virtual events. Yep, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of Trailhead DX 2020. So I'd ask you to close your eyes or to look down. So let your eyes close gently or look down at the ground in front of you. And just notice your breath, where you notice it the most. Maybe it's in your belly or your chest, or maybe you even feel it at the tip of your nose where the air is coming in and out. So just take a few breaths and notice the quality of your breath. Is there any space or room to just let the breath be as it is? And you might notice as you are following your breath that a thought arises and it might even cause you to move away from your breath, chasing it like a butterfly there's nothing wrong with that. It's absolutely natural for your brain to think. What we are trying to do is notice when it happens. And then as gently as we can, with as much kindness and love as we can muster, we bring ourselves back to our breath. Back to that spot where we notice our breath without any judgment for the thought. Just allow. 
And every time that you're able to bring yourself back to the present moment, to your breath, is a moment of mindfulness. And I certainly wish you many moments of mindfulness during this conference. Take care. To Maribus, to Salesforce Saturdays, Rad Women Who Code, Ladies Be Architects, and Super Moms, and the many, many other workforce development programs driven by our communities, I get to work with the leaders of leaders who use their powers for good to fight economic inequality. How do we do that? We do that by giving opportunities to those who would not normally have access to level themselves up via Salesforce. And we need your help. We need volunteers to mentor them. We need donations so that the programs can run. And we need jobs. We need Salesforce customers and partners to hire these resourceful, resilient problem solvers because that's when the real change starts. That's when they're able to rise up and live their best lives. Investing in these rising stars is not only the right thing to do, it's the logical thing to do. I hope you'll join us. Let's make change together.